today I'm going to take you through the painting process that I use to paint the fantastic epic scale Civil War suave miniatures from Warlord Games. Hello and welcome to War Games and Painting. My name is Paul. As part of my research I found this picture of Louisiana Suave's regiment. I believe it's the 9th Louisiana Special Battalion, but let me know in the comments below if that is incorrect. For today's process I will be using contrast paints from Games Workshop as my base colours and a combination of other GW, Army Painter and Vallejo paints for the highlights. I first primed the miniatures using Wraithbone Primer from Games Workshop. This gives a really nice and bright foundation for the blues and reds which are the main colours used for these uniforms. Here I use Blood Angels Red contrast paint for the baggy trousers and the hats. Suave regiments were used by both the Northern and Southern armies and the outlandish uniforms are largely inspired by the French colonial infantry regiments of the same name. The flamboyant style of the French Suaves with their red shirts, baggy trousers and fez caps were a stark contrast to the drab colours usually associated with the American Civil War. I thought these would be a great addition to my Confederate army to add some much needed colour to the battlefield. For the jackets I used ultramarine blue contrast paint as this gives a lovely rich deep blue base. I will add highlights with a lighter colour later in the process. If you're enjoying the video so far, feel free to hit that like button. Now that we have the main red and blue base applied, it's time to start on the smaller details. I'm using another contrast paint, Talisar Blue. This is used to paint the sash around the waist. The straps and canteen were painted with black templar contrast paint. As with the majority of the contrast paints this works really well over the wraithbone primer as it creates natural looking highlights. As these miniatures are so small it's hard not to make mistakes so it's time for a quick clean up using the Wraithbone base paint from Games Workshop. Now it's time to paint the haversacks using Agaros Dunes contrast paint. I suppose you could say the haversacks are similar to the modern day backpack, the Civil War soldiers catch-all. Haversacks often contained items such as rations, personal effects, tools, entertainment items and fighting equipment. A 
I love using the dark brown contrast colour Wildwood for the wooden parts of the guns. Now for the faces and hands, just a quick application of dark oak flesh which looks quite dark at the moment but I'll add a lighter highlight later. I used uniform grey from Army Painter to paint the gaiters. Try not to get any of the grey onto the red trousers. It's not a big deal if you do, as it's an easy fix when the red highlights are applied in one of the later steps. For the hair and the beards, I use Nasdrag Yellow and Saigor Brown contrast paints. You can really use any colours that you think would work, I just try and use some variation in the colours. To be honest, once they're on the table, it's very hard to see the hair. All of the metal parts of the guns were painted with Army Painter Plate Mail Metal. This is a bright metallic colour that works really well in combination with a light shade or wash, which I will apply once all of the base coats have been completed. I painted the white part of the gaiters with Ceramite White, which is a base colour from Games Workshop. Now that all the base colours have been applied, it's time to apply Liquid Magic, or well, that's what people call washes. Here I'm using a very diluted Agrax Earthshade mix, as I don't want to darken the paint scheme too much. One drop of paint to five drops of water. The mixture is applied all over the miniature but avoiding the face and hands. Washes or shades do a fantastic job in pulling all of the colours together. They are very thin and will work their way into all the nooks and crannies creating a natural looking shade. Plus it's a great way to cover any areas of the Wraith Bone Primer that have been missed. It works very well on epic scale miniatures. Just a quick dot of Vallejo model colour brass is applied to the belt buckles. Now it's time to make the colours on the miniature start to pop by adding much brighter colours for the highlights. Here I use another Games Workshop paint, Evil Sun Scarlet, to highlight the trousers and the hats. The bright red highlight is a perfect way to bring up the colour after the Agrax Earthshade wash. The red pants are looking great, now it's time to brighten up the jackets. McCrag Blue from Games Workshop is my paint of choice for this.
The dark oath flesh is a great base for the faces and hands, but they need a bright highlight to bring out the detail. A very small amount of Kislev flesh from Games Workshop is applied to the forehead, nose and hands. Once again we are using Evil Sun Scarlet. Here it is used to add the red piping on the jacket. This step can easily be skipped as it's one of those details that is hard to see once the miniatures are on the table, but I love to add little details like these. A very small amount of dark oath flesh was applied to the faces and hands just to tie in the bright highlight. I would like to add that I did go over the miniature and clean up any areas that needed it. Just a few small things like adding a small amount of ceramite white to the gaiters to highlight them after the Agrax Earthshade wash. Now the miniature is ready to base. I pre-painted the base with Rhinox Hide from Games Workshop. The painted stand and one other that was painted using the same process was glued to the base. I then applied a layer of sterling mud which is a textured paste from Games Workshop. This really helps level off the step where the miniature's base meets the main base. Once the sterling mud had dried I applied a thin coat of diluted PVA glue and then added a mix of two colours of basing flock. I then added some tufts and flowers to complete the miniature. Swarves are now ready for battle. I had so much fun making this video, so if you found it entertaining, Please like, comment and subscribe.